Hello friends, if you are planning to make a TV unit in your home, then this video is going to help you a lot. Because many people make the TV wall just based on looks. But later, they face issues like wrong wiring, uncomfortable viewing height, wasted storage space, and overall imbalance in the room's look. So, to avoid all these mistakes, watch this video till the end. I will explain everything in a very simple way. Which measurements you should follow, which material to use according to your budget, and how to select the best design that matches your room. Let us start with the most basic and important thing, the size of your TV. See, many people start designing the TV unit first, and then later decide the TV size. But this is actually the wrong approach. First, decide the TV size and if you are confused about which size TV you should buy, then remember a very simple rule. The larger the distance between your sofa and TV, the larger the TV size you can choose. If the seating is close, choose a medium size and if the seating is far, choose a bigger TV. With this, the viewing experience becomes comfortable and not overwhelming. Now comes the next thing which most people ignore, wiring and switchboard placement. This is very very important. If you place switchboards randomly, then your wires will remain visible and the finish will never look clean. So do this. Behind the TV, at the height which makes the center of your TV screen, keep power and cable points. This ensures all wires stay hidden. Then inside the TV cabinet, where you will keep your set-top box, Wi-Fi router or soundbar. Keep extra plug points. This helps to avoid adapters and external wires later. Now let us talk about height measurements because this directly impacts comfort. If you are planning to make a floating cabinet, meaning it does not touch the floor, then keep it around 8 to 16 inches above the floor. And the height of the cabinet itself should ideally be 12 to 18 inches. This makes sure the cabinet is not too small to use and not too bulky visually. And the most important part, the height of the TV. In the living room, if you mostly watch TV while sitting on a sofa, then the center of the TV should be around 42 to 48 inches from the floor. This keeps your neck relaxed. But in the bedroom, we usually watch TV while reclining or lying down. So for that, slightly lower height works better, around 36 to 40 inches from the floor. This makes viewing easy and comfortable. Now let us talk about design balance. Whenever you are designing a TV unit, don't think of just that wall alone. Always think about the wall behind the sofa or the bed as well. For example, if your bed back wall has a heavy design, bold wallpaper or texture, then keep your TV wall simple and minimal. But if your bed back wall is very plain, then you can add some design elements on your TV wall to balance the look. The same idea applies in the living room too. One wall can be the star, not both. Otherwise, the room starts looking visually heavy and cluttered. Now let us move to material selection. This is where many people overspend without understanding their need. If you like a simple and minimal look, then make a clean floating cabinet on a plain wall. For finish, choose laminate or wood veneer depending on your budget and theme. Both look good if chosen properly. And wherever the set-top box is kept, use a glass shutter. This allows remote signals to pass through without opening the shutter every time. If you want a premium look but within reasonable cost, then one good technique is to create a boundary using wooden strips and apply wallpaper or texture paint inside that boundary. This highlights only a small portion and creates a very elegant focal area behind the TV. Using textures like exposed concrete Lime wash or stucco instantly adds a soft, classy feel without making the room look too heavy. 
If you want something more stylish, MDF paneling is a very popular option. But remember this clearly. Plain MDF plus paint finish is budget friendly. Fluted MDF or CNC carved MDF plus PU paint becomes premium and expensive. So don't assume MDF is always cheap. The design and finish decide the cost. If you like natural and rich finishes, then wood veneer or marble gives a very clean and upscale look. And if you want an earthy and warm feel, then stone veneer is also an option. But make sure it is sealed properly. If you want a budget finish with many choices, then laminate is the best. Nowadays, laminates come in wooden, fluted, stone, textile, matte, glossy and many more patterns. So you will definitely find something matching your theme. Another option to add visual structure is wall molding. This creates clean divisions on the wall and looks elegant without being too loud. Now let us talk about storage. First, think about how much storage you really need. If you don't need much storage, then just a shelf or small floating cabinet is enough. If you need moderate storage, go for a neat floating drawer unit. And if your living room is spacious and needs more storage, then add side cabinets or vertical shelves to frame the TV unit. Now, very important design tip. Do not use very bright colors or heavy designs behind the TV. Because when we watch TV, our eyes need a neutral background. If the background is too loud, the focus shifts and the eyes get tired easily. When it comes to getting that marble look, you have got a few options. If you want a luxurious finish, go for real Italian marble. It looks rich and elegant. If you want something that looks premium but fits the budget, marble look tiles are a great choice. And if you are going for a simple, budget-friendly option, you can choose a stone finish laminate. It still gives that marble vibe without the high cost. Similarly, fluted MDF or charcoal panels can create a very modern look. Plus, adding soft indirect lighting around the panel elevates the entire space beautifully. If you want a very high-end designer look, then you can try arched paneling or recessed TV wall designs. These make the wall feel architectural and add depth. Now let us talk about colors. If you don't want to take any risk, just stick to safe shades. White, off-white, beige or light grey. These colors always look clean, modern and elegant and they never go out of style. If you want contrast, pair dark wood plus white marble look. If you want a rich dark theme, then dark grey plus black works beautifully. And if you are using texture paint, go for warm grey or beige tones. If using PU paint, choose neutral shades for a premium finish. So remember, don't start with design. Start with TV size, then height, then material and then design. This sequence will save cost, avoid mistakes and give you a clean and beautiful TV unit that matches your room perfectly. So now that you know how to plan a perfect TV unit, tell me one thing in the comments. Which style do you prefer for your home? Option A. Minimal and clean. Option B. Wooden warm look. Or Option C. Premium marble or fluted modern look. Write your option A, B or C below. I personally read every single comment. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.